Okay, let me continue the topic about children. Hey guys, have you ever considered having babies in the future? Hey husbands, do you want babies in the future? No. No? no? I have babies. Okay. Uh, Safa, do you want babies? Got it. Oh? Safa is good. Sorry. Okay. Mm, we like children, right? And they are the gift from God. They are the little angels made your life incredibly amazing. However, there are thousands of children in America. They live in a different life. And they live in the dark. They stand on the street. They have no idea what the future is. They do the things against their will. And people call that child prostitute. Today I'm going to talking about the life, the history, and the cause of uh, uh, about child prostitution. Before we get deep into the topic, let me uh, let's listen to the story about Natalie's life as a child prostitute. Natalie was a girl who ran from home because of the pressures at school and at home in 2010. Then she met her and older girl who introduced her and Pim. Pim means the agents of prostitution. They look for clients, then they take money. And she lost his virginity to the Pim who read him, uh, read her. And she started her prostitution. She, the pimp took photos of notices in the bus shoes and post them online. And over 14 guys called in uh, when they saw the advertisement. And she stayed with this life for more than 16 months. She made 3,000 to 6,000 a week. Wow. Um, wow, a, big, a lot of money, right? <laughs> And um, when she talked about the, her pimp, she showed the innocence of a child. She said, um, she, he told me I will not have to do this forever. And he hits me because he loves me. I believe my brain shut off. I, I felt devoted to him and I can do everything to be with him. And this romantic tragedy and when the when she was taken into custody and her pimps were arrested. <laughs> now the family gets the girl back and she is a different kid. She her her, her attitude, her language, the way she walks and the disrespect, she is different, her father said. And people say prostitution is a vitreous uh, crime, but our family was victimized. And the Narita story is only the tip of the iceberg. And there are over 10 million child prostitutes in the world. They distribute in the, uh, India, Peru, Thailand, and Brazil. Now, let's talk about the history of child prostitution. In, in ancient uh, Greece and Rome, boys are uh, commonly prostituted in the brothels. And in China and India, they, uh, they constantly sold by their parents to the upper class men for prostitution. And in Europe, the prostitution was flourished in the last 1800s, and uh, over 15 of the individuals involved in prostitution in Paris. Uh, the child prostitution was distributed to two main parts. The first one is human trafficking. Human trafficking means the chains uh, in humans for the purpose of sexual slavery, the false labels, or commercial sexual exploitation. In this case, it means the pimps use children to earn money for themselves. 
and the other one is survival cells. It means the group cell bodies to exchange what they need. They want uh, food, they want a place to sleep, and they want the basic needs. And many times these groups uh, were taken to this type of criminal because they are disaffected. They from the broken family, they stand on the street uh, themselves and and they are looking for a mute, a person who can take care of them. And as a community, as a society, it's our role to embarrass these, these children and see what they are. They are not prostitutes and they are just a victim. Thank you.